Now, what if you had a car that ran on, say, vegetable oil? Would it make it through a long road trip? Well, two neighbors from California are trying to find out. Ken Martins Friesen and Steve Friesen crossed the Golden Gate Bridge in their Jetta Friday afternoon, heading all the way to the coast of Delaware, and their fuel consists of leftover oil from their church's annual deep-fried fritter sale. And they join us now for a pit stop in Salt Lake City, Utah. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. Well, it's good to have you this morning. Ken, why don't you start us off, and, and why exactly are you making this trek? What's the inspiration here? Well, the inspiration kind of came back from uh, Katrina when prices originally were so high, and also just philosophically the idea of, of uh, depending on fossil fuels is something that we wanted to try to get beyond, and so we rigged up this car to run on vegetable oil. And Steve, I understand that you guys have dubbed this trip the freezing, fritter-fired, fossil fuel-free drive across America. Very catchy. You came up with that? <laughs> yeah, that was Ken's idea. It came out of the, the MCC sale where <laughs> we got most of the oil from a fritter booth there. So wait, I understand the car actually smells like whatever was last fried in the oil. So are you guys sort of reeking of fritters right now? <laughs> Well, it's fortunately, it's just out the tailpipe. We don't really uh, smell it inside the car. It's it just... also has some Japanese tempura in it, so we get a, a mix of smells. <laughs> so whoever's behind you, I guess. Okay, Ken, show us how this works. Give us, give us the sure. gist. We'll start in the front here. Yeah. Basically, um, we'll go to back to the back later, but um, the fuel comes up through here, goes through a fuel filter. The fuel filter is heated through this uh, coolant exchange. It also gets heated with this electric element here. And once the engine is hot, we switch over with this switch over here, and the hot vegetable oil just goes straight into the injection pump right over here. So it's can, actually very simple. You, you, you do use a little bit of diesel fuel to heat up the vegetable oil, which is in a second tank, right? That's right. We, um, to start up and to stop the car, you should, you should always use diesel just to get it up to operating temperature. But you have to lug all that vegetable oil with you. Where are you putting it? Well, actually, we get uh, about 45 miles per gallon on this, so we have our entire supply here. We've used about 20 gallons to get from San Francisco here, and we've got about uh, 45, 50 gallons oh, left to get across the rest of the U.S. Steve, real quick, I, this is a great novelty for you guys, but do you really think the average American family could, could do something like this? Well, it took a little bit of work for Ken to put the, the kit into the car, but actually I think Ken said it took him about eight hours. Ken has a little bit of car know-how, right. so, you know, if you have a little bit of know-how, I think pretty much most people could do it. Well, we'll see if you guys start a revolution here. Ken and Steve, thanks very much. Best of luck to you. Have a good trip. Thanks, thanks a lot, Campbell. And now